Hi, I'm Alice. What's your name? Huh? Oh, me? Um, hi, I'm Elena. Um, h how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I just wanted to say hi because, you know, it's the first day of school and you're gonna be sitting next to me. Um, what middle school did you go to? Oh, yeah, of course. I love making new friends. Um, I went to Possum Middle. What about you? I'm actually from another state and my family just moved here, so I'm new to this town and also this school, but I was kind of nervous, but it makes me feel better to know that there's someone really nice sitting next to me. Whoa, that is so cool. So you're new to this town? Well, I grew up here, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm kind of nervous too because I've never been in high school. Um, it's my first year, but hopefully there will be people I know in this class. But I mean, yeah, I'm so happy that I got to meet you too. <gasps> oh, my dog. <laughs> oh my dog! I can't believe Travis is sitting behind me! Oh my dog, I feel so nervous. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> <sighs> hey, Elena, is everything okay? <sighs> huh? Yeah, <sighs> everything's fine, don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Why, hello everybody. Good morning and welcome to my class. I am your teacher, Miss Underwood. No, not underwear, but Underwood. And I'm sure that many of you are excited because you are now freshmen in high school. Now, high school is going to be very different than middle school. So I hope that you guys will adjust very well. I'm here for you if you need me, and you can visit me after school during office hours, or you can also send me an email or catch me after class. I hope that we will have a great year together, and that you will all be successful in my class. Wait, Elena, is everything okay? What happened during class today? Oh, um, well, okay, don't tell anybody, okay? Okay, I won't, I promise. I mean, I don't even know anybody here. Okay, so do you remember Travis, the one who sat behind me in class today? Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah, what's up? Well, I mean, I didn't expect it, but I've known him since, like, elementary school. He went to my elementary school, and he also went to my middle school, and I was just so surprised that he was going to be in high school. I mean, the same high school as me, too, and the same class. I mean, high school is huge, but out of all the classes, why is he in my class again? Oh, maybe it's fate? I mean, is that a bad thing? Is he mean or something? Oh, no, 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 not at all. He's like the nicest guy ever. The thing is, I've had a crush on him for many, many years. And I thought I was gonna start all over and start new in high school, but he's still here. Oh, so he's your crush? But, I mean, have you talked to him before? Ha do you know if he likes you too? Well, the thing is, we, I, I mean, we've never talked. He's only been in my classes, so like we're classmates and I know his name and he knows my name, but we aren't really, you know, friends. It's just like one of those people where you see in class, but we've actually never talked. Wait, you've never talked, but you like him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm weird, huh? I don't know, like he's just a really nice guy and he's just really good looking and he's super cute and he's super super smart, like super smart. And you know, when we see each other we say hi, but that's it. But yeah, he's like my dream guy. I've liked him since I was probably like five years old. Why don't you talk to him then? What's holding you back? I mean... I guess I'm just really shy, like, I just don't have the courage to initiate conversation. And it's kind of weird because we've never talked, so 
It's gonna be even more weird if I just went up to him and started talking. Well, I think it's the perfect opportunity now that you guys are in the same class. I mean, you can ask him for some homework help or something. Um, say hi, start a conversation, get to know him a little more. I'll help you. Oh, well, that, that's very nice of you, but no thank you. I, I don't think I'm ready for this yet. I, I don't know, it's only the first day and, you know, it's a new environment for me and I don't know where all my classes are. I need to make sure I'm, I'm staying on top of my studies. There's just too much going on. I, I don't think I'm ready yet. Um, but yeah, let, let's just leave this as is and um, I'll have to think about it first, okay? I have to go to my next class now. I'll see you later. Bye! Welcome back, class. I hope you had a wonderful first week of high school. Today, we're going to be starting our first science project, which means I need to assign you guys a lab partner. So, let me see. Elena? Why don't you pair up with Travis? Elena and Travis, you guys will be together, okay? So go ahead and take table one and start working on your lab project. Oh my dog, Travis is gonna be my lab partner? Oh my dog, oh my dog, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. See, you guys are meant to be. He's your lab partner, this is your chance. Talk to him, talk to him. Shh, don't make it so obvious. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the instructions for the lab yet? Um, I, I just kind of skimmed through it, but not too thoroughly. Uh, um, what about you? Uh, no, not really, so I'm just gonna read. Why don't we take like the first 10 minutes to go over the instructions and then we can regroup? So, um, maybe that'll be more efficient. Um, yeah, th that sounds like a great idea. Okay. What? What do you mean, so what? So how'd it go? Did you talk to him? Did you get to know him better? I mean, we did talk. Just like a little bit. Oh, come on. The lab took like 40 minutes. What do you mean you only talked a little bit? What did you guys talk about? Um, I mean, not much really. We just talked about the lab. Like the first 10 to 15 minutes or so, we just went over the lab. Like we did some silent reading because none of us actually really read it. And then we just worked on the lab. I mean, we didn't really have a conversation. It was more like, okay, add 200 milliliters of water, add two drops of this, two drops of that. I mean, that was it. It was just lab stuff. It was just lab stuff? Why didn't you take this opportunity to get to know him better and just talk to him? Start a conversation, ask him how he's doing and how he's liking high school. <sighs> You know, I really don't think this is gonna work. I mean, I've had a crush on him for more than like eight years. I just don't have the courage to. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think he's interested in me. And I don't know. It's like he's just too different from my world. His world is like completely different. And how is his world completely different? What is so different? We're all in the same world living okay what's different is that uh, i'm just a really shy student okay i just go to school i study a lot i try to earn good grades and then i go home i don't have a social life he on the other hand is very popular he's on the basketball team he does a bunch of sports like he does sports all year long he's also in student government and he does a lot of community service He's just a popular guy, and I'm not. Like, I'm nobody. Okay, you can't do this to yourself. That's not fair. You can't just push yourself down thinking you're not good enough for him. That's not how it works. And why don't you have a social life? Do, are you scared? Do you want to do community service? Or, I mean, do you not like it or what? I mean, it's hard. All the people that is in his clubs that do community service together, they're all friends from like middle school. So it's hard for me to just join because we weren't friends to begin with. So I don't know. It's just weird. It's like the same group of people from middle school. And I don't know. I just want to start new. As your friend, I'll just say this. If you like somebody and you never say anything or get to know them, they'll never know. And nothing ever is going to happen. So you're just going to continue crushing on him. And eventually, when we all graduate, it's gonna be over. Well then, 
I guess that's it. I mean, there's nothing I can do. It's just we're, we're totally different people. And I just don't think he'll like me. He never said anything to me like he's never interested. Well, that's because you never said anything to him either. A conversation requires two people. One person can't just start a conversation and if the other person doesn't answer, there is no conversation. Ugh, I know, but ugh, I just can't, okay? I just can't. I'm just... I'm over it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna go home and study. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, did you see that flyer on the wall? No, what flyer? Well, one of the clubs are holding a car wash, and I think we should go. It'll be fun for us to meet some people and, you know, just do some activities to help the community. Oh, I don't know. I have a test coming up and... And? What are you looking at? <gasps> You're so funny. I'll see you later, babe. Oh, my dog. Are they dating? I mean, she did kiss him, right? And called him babe? I gotta go. I don't feel so well. Elena, wait! Wait for me! Elena, wait! Hey, listen. I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Just... I think I just need some space. Um... Yeah, I'll just talk to you again tomorrow or something. Um, but yeah, I I'll see you later.